Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on the Black & Decker 12 Cup Mill & Brew CM500B coffee maker. So I just bought another one used off of Amazon. You get, it comes reboxed and you don't get the original packaging, but you do save quite a bit of money. So here's the coffee maker on Amazon. It normally retails for $100. They've got it on sale for $70. But Amazon does have this nice feature over here on the right-hand side. If you scroll down, save on used and very good. You click on that. Then you got to click on this. Now it brings up several different coffee makers and you got to be careful. You can pay more than the coffee maker is new for a used one. But I normally just buy mine that say the Amazon warehouse. Because if, it, if it's not going to work, you can send it back for free. This, they've got a used one right now for $56. I found a used one from Amazon for $45. Again, my experience is they it comes in a, a separate box, or a, not the original box. They usually do, they always include the instructions. And then they, they usually say there's an imperfection on it. Okay, so I opened it up. At least I found the imperfection this time. I've bought several coffee makers, and I've never found the imperfection they talk about. But this one is a little obvious. I mean, I'm not too, too worried about it. But overall, it looks to be in pretty good shape. Usually these are just returns. So I'm really not, not seeing any other imperfections. But you can save half the price. Okay, so let's just start into the review. This thing looks nice. It's, it's got a lot of plastic to it. There is some metal to it. But overall, it looks like a pretty nice coffee maker. Now, it is kind of big. You do have a water tank over here. This is where you see how much water is in the water reservoir. There's the water reservoir. I don't see any kind of filtration. You can't put a filter on it. So it does have a glass carafe. Hinged lid. It has a warming, warming plate. This will keep your coffee warm. That's kind of nice. Buttons. It does grind and brew all in the same basket. So this is a little different than like a Cuisinart. So there's the grinder and the brew basket. So you're not going to be, be able to use paper filters or anything. So we're, I'm going to show you. I'm going to brew a cup of coffee. This all comes out relatively easy. Yeah, I'd agree. There's what the brew head looks like. So the bottom of this, there's our that plunger called pause brewing. So this, it's got some metal to it. That's like a filter. There's the base. That's the grinder. It's like a chop grinder. When you put it in, you got to line that up with that over there. And then the latch. So around back looks nice. It does have cord storage. The cord is not super long. And again, on this side, this is where we pour the water. Kind of a nice big opening. So on the bottom, it says 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1,025 watts. So yeah, it's got these, it's got four rubber feet. Is that kind of a standard? Dimensions left to right is about almost 10 and a half. Front to back is almost eight. So unfortunately this will not fit under a kitchen cabinet. Looks like it's almost 21 inches tall with that lid raised. And you do have to be able to kind of lift that all the way so you can get all of this out. The cord is exactly two feet long and it's two prongs. Okay, so when I first plug it in, it's got an, a backlit display. I'm not sure if it stays backlit, we'll know, but it's got a nice blue color to it. It's flashing time. So let's set the clock real quick. Hold the hour button. And then you can set the time. It's got a PM, no AM. So right now it is 8.03 PM. So again, I'm going to do several videos. I'll show you how to program this to, pro to have you a cup of coffee in the morning. 
Uh, right now, this video, I'm going to do a brew. We're going to do temperature checks, do a taste test, see how the grinder works. And then one of my next videos, I'll show you how to descale this. Okay, so the backlit does not stay after a little while. It goes away, but the display's relatively easy to see. You know, I do wish it kind of stayed a little backlit, but it does, the backlit does turn off. So I am impressed with this, with this manual. This manual seems very well written. It's got pictures, it's got diagrams. They kind of talk all about programming it. Looks like it's pretty simple to figure out. I do like this, this print, this, um, this manual. They got a lot of things to talk about. So yeah, that's a nice manual. Okay, so the first thing they want us to do, we're gonna do before brewing, is we've gotta wash all these parts with soap and water. We're gonna wash this, this, and the craft, and then we're gonna run a, two pots of water through it. Okay, so I've got everything washed off. I've got this filled up with just fresh water up to the 12 mark. Let's put this lid on, let's open this up. We're gonna pour this in. The craft pours really nice. Oh, I like how it pours. That's one of the best pouring crafts. And it corresponds to the 12 mark. Put your craft in there. So it says we want to press this grind button until we see grinder off. I think that with the line through it is off. Yeah. So when there's a line through it, that means it's grinders off. Then you're simply going to do just a brew. That's like this brew now button. So they want you to run two pots of water through the machine with no coffee, nothing in it, with the grinder off to cleanse the, the brewer, to kind of get the manufacturing stuff out of there. So you gotta make sure and leave the lids closed. You can't open these lids while it's brewing or it does shut off. Okay, so I've ran my second pot through here. I'm gonna throw this out and then we'll be ready to brew. Hit the button to turn it back off. So we are going to have to dry these, these components out. So we're going to dry all of this. We're going to take this out. Be careful, it can be hot. But before we brew our cup of coffee, I need to dry all this out. So anytime you're dealing with like a, a grinder, it should be nice and dry the first time so that you won't get a bunch of coffee. Stick. When it does the grind, you won't get a bunch of coffee that sticks around. So let, let's just talk about the grinder for a second. So Black & Decker has decided to do theirs a little bit different. The grinder is in the brew basket. And then the hot water, it's going to grind the coffee first. And then it's going to brew the hot water right over the grinder. So Cuisinart has quite a few grind and brews. They do things a little bit different. They shoot, they grind the coffee in a different chamber. Then they shoot the grinds into the filter basket and then they brew the hot water over it. So it's a little different strategy. Whereas on the Black & Decker, again, the grinder or the, the grinder is in the brew basket. So again, you're not gonna be able to use a paper filter. You've always got to use this, they call this a reusable filter. And there is this little safety switch. You've got to make sure that it's, see that little thing's gonna poke down right there. And then that, this it prevents you from grinding. So the grinder won't work unless all of these safety features are, are, and the lid is latched, then the grinder will work. So let's just talk about the display for a second. The grinder, it's got, again, that's no grind. It's got four cups, six cups, eight cups, 10 cups, and 12 cups. That's gonna be how long the grinder is gonna grind. So if you're brewing a 12 cup pot of coffee, you're gonna, you're gonna put the grinder on 12. And same with four, six, and eight. So if, but you can brew your own coffee grounds. So say you've got coffee grounds that are already ground, just put it on the no grind. Put your coffee grinds in here. Just put them right on top of the um, the grinder, and then you can do a normal cup of coffee, normal brew of coffee. It does have a strong brew. It's got two strong brews. It's got strong and bold, and then normal by this little bar graph right here. And I'm just pressing the strong button. And again, this is the program button. I can program this to grind and, and brew me a pot of coffee in the morning. And it does have an auto off feature from zero to two hours that I can adjust. 
So even though this does have, so the grind, say I want to grind a, a six or an eight cup, I'm going to put eight tablespoons of coffee grounds in the grinder. It's still going to brew whatever amount of water I put over here. This is like a normal coffee maker. So if I put 12 cups of water in here, it's going to brew the whole pot, the whole thing, the reservoir of water. So this does not correspond with how much it's going to brew. It just corresponds with how long the grinder is going to grind. Because eight tablespoons compared to 12 tablespoons, they want the grinder to grind a little bit longer. So for this coffee maker, I will be using the whole bean. These can be kind of hard to find, whole bean coffee. Now mine did not come with the scoop, but the scoop that comes with it is one tablespoon. So for each cup we're gonna brew, we're gonna one tablespoon of whole beans equals one tablespoon of ground coffee. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon of whole coffee beans on top of the grinder for every cup I'm gonna brew. And since I've, I've got this filled up to the 12 mark, I'm gonna brew a full 12 cups of coffee. So again, let's open this lid up. Make sure everything's in place before I add the coffee. And then you're just gonna take the coffee beans right there. Okay, so I've added 12 tablespoons. You can see that's about how high it comes up, right to the bottom of that filter area right there. So now I'm gonna close this, make sure it latches. You'll hear a click. I'm gonna add my water. Again, this, this coffee pot pour is really nice. Okay, then I'm gonna put, close this. Again, I gotta do the grind. So I gotta go grind 12. I'm gonna do 12 cups. Then I'm just gonna hit the, pot, the start. Button. So the grinder's not super loud. Again, right now, the only thing that's going on is it's grinding the coffee, then it's gonna start brewing the water, hot water. And it's definitely grinding that coffee. Let's, let's open it up real quick. So there's, oh wow. That looks like it did a pretty decent job grinding the coffee. Now I'm just interrupting it because I wanted to see how it did, the grinder did. It actually did a pretty good job. So now that the grinder is done, now the hot water is gonna start coming out of here. And see how it's just gonna brew right in the grinder. So the whole time it's brewing, the backlit display is lit and this blue light is on. So now it's brewing a pot of coffee. And it kind of sounds like a normal coffee maker. You get that boiling of the water and you can hear it shooting it across the coffee grounds. Okay, so it doesn't take long. We've got coffee that's starting to come out. It smells really good. It's not a super loud coffee maker. Towards the end of the brew cycle, it does get a little bit louder, but that's pretty standard for coffee makers. Okay, so it's done brewing the 12 cup pot of coffee. We don't get the full 12 cups out. Like I put 12 cups of water in, but you do lose a little bit to uh, steam. That took about 12 minutes to brew that full pot of coffee. Now, after it's done brewing, it switches, the display switches to how long has it been sitting here. So this pot of coffee has been sitting here now. This is a timer. It's been sitting here for 20 minutes. That's to let you know how old that pot of coffee is. And the display does stay backlit. So let's go over here and see how the grinder did. Okay. There's our coffee grounds. Again, it just brews them right in there. There's the brew head. So this light flashes when you've got that lid open. So one sound I am noticing, so the warming plate seems to be kind of like kicking on and off. I don't normally hear that in other coffee makers, but I'll hear kind of like a relay, kind of like clicking every once in a while. So, but let's pour a cup of coffee. That pour is really nice. Do a temperature check. 160, 170, that's a really hot cup of coffee. Okay, so I just tasted this coffee. This, this tastes like a really good cup of coffee. I'm very impressed with how good a cup of coffee this thing fixes. 
So one thing I want to talk about, so something you may not be used to, since we cannot use a, this is a reusable filter and you cannot use a paper coffee filter, you do get a little bit of sediment. I did not get any coffee grounds in my coffee, but there is a little bit of sediment that kind of settles down at the bottom that I just want to show you. You may not be used to that. I do, I do believe sediment adds just a little bit of flavor to coffee that it actually tastes pretty good. But again, you don't notice it. If you're drinking your coffee, it's after it's sit for a while. Okay, so let's pour this coffee. So there's that sediment that you might see in the bottom of a uh, coffee pot or your coffee cup. Again, it's just something I just wanted you to be aware of. Okay, so let's go over cleanup now. Again, if I'm done with my pot of coffee, I'm just gonna hit this button. This turns the coffee maker off. It will turn off after two hours, and I can adjust that turn off time, but I just hit the button again to turn it off. It reverts back to the clock. There is a little handle here. There's a little thing here to grab. So this is, we're gonna go empty our coffee grounds. You can recycle these, but you are gonna to have to get them out of there. I, I would definitely not put these down the sink. Now this part, yeah, it's got a little bit of, see how those little bit of coffee. So we're gonna have to clean this one each time too. So these are the two parts we're gonna go clean. So even after I empty this out into the trash can, you do have quite a bit of cleaning to do on this, but it is, looks like it's gonna be pretty simple to clean. And same with this. I do recommend like an old, like, well, it's gonna discolor it after you use it for a while, but get a scrub brush because with these reusable filters, you do got to get in there and kind of scrub a little bit. And same with this one, it would be easier to kind of get in there and scrub a little bit. So the only thing that our dishwasher safe is the carafe and the lid. It's, it's got a hinge part here. And you, it's easier just to pull up like that. The hinge comes off. So we can put this in the top rack of the dishwasher. And same with this, but this is actually pretty tall for the top rack of a dishwasher. And then you run the risk of losing that spring and that plunger. So I'm going to wash all these by hand with just soapy water. So cleanup was relatively easy, but you are, it is going to take a little bit of work each time. You know, when you compare like to a, this coffee maker, it takes a paper filter and I just have to take this over and empty that out, you know, and rinse this out about every third or fourth time I have to wash it. But so cleanup is going to be a little more work each time you brew a pot of coffee with these grind and brews. I do think the coffee does taste a little bit better, so it is worth it in the end. The craft is kind of a, oh, the glass isn't the thickest, so just be careful with it. It does look like it could break pretty easy. So let's just look at this. So this does not come apart anymore. So you have to clean all of this with, it, with the grinder still in there. And that did take that using that brush helped a bunch. This handle only goes one way. And again, don't that thing, that thing's pretty important right there. That's that safety switch that lets the coffee maker work. So that has to make sure that's installed. Same with this over here. You've got that pause brewing. So I can remove the the uh, coffee pot while it's brewing a pot of co uh, pot of coffee I can get a quick quick cup and then I gotta make sure to put it back so that the, the coffee will come out with this right there this thing looks pretty standard the biggest thing though is so if you want to brew another pot of coffee right away I would dry this off a little bit otherwise you could get some kind of coffee ground sticking around so this is a little unusual it has a removable brew head so by pinching these two tabs right here, I've not seen this before, but you can take this out and clean it. That's where the hot water comes out. It comes up here. So again, to put it in, just line these up, make sure both of those snap. So that's a little unusual. Looks like it's designed to um, fit right on top of that brew basket. Yeah, it's kind of angled at a certain way. Again, there's that safety switch that has to activate. There's the grinder, so and there's the coffee pot. So, 
Okay, so putting this in was pretty pretty easy. It just goes in, and you'll see this is kind of flush, kind of springy. And again, this is this can get a little tricky, but if you just make sure that that is always going to be over there where that safety switch is, and then this little handle always has to be over here. And then when you close this, don't force it. Everything should close and snap. So let's say I just wanted to brew an eight cup. So I would just fill it up to the eight mark on the water reservoir. I would only put eight tablespoons of, of uh, whole bean coffee right there. Then I would hit the grinder till it said eight. And then I would hit the, then I would hit the start button. That would brew just an eight cup uh, pot of coffee. And again, I'm not gonna do a strong brews, but there are two different ones. And what that does is it just takes, it delays the brew a little bit. It takes a little bit longer to brew. The water is not going to come out as fast. It still comes out at the same temperature, but it takes about three minutes longer for the first one and then about another th two minutes. So about another five minutes for the bold setting. So that's a normal brew, 12 minutes. That takes about 14 to 15. That takes about 16 to 17. They do taste a little bit different. It's kind of hard for me to taste that that uh, difference though. And again, I can use coffee that's already ground. So see how this says ground coffee? I can use it in this. I just put it in here one tablespoon for however how many cups I'm gonna brew. I'm gonna put it right there on top of the grinder, but we can turn the grinder off. So I'll come up here, hit the grind button until it has a line through it. So when it has a line through it, that means the grinder won't start. And when I hit the start button, it'll just brew the water through there like a normal coffee maker so I can use already ground coffee. Again, if I wanna set the time, I'm just gonna hold the hour button. Or actually, I don't even have to hold it. When I press it, it changes the time. So be careful, if you accidentally press these buttons, it's gonna change the time. And again, there's no AM or PM. Or I'm sorry, there's only a PM. So that's AM, but when we see PM, that means it's PM. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the auto off feature. You're gonna hold we're gonna press and hold the program button until it displays 120. That's 120 minutes. Press the minute button. No, it defaulted back, so make sure it says 120. Press the minute button. This is how long the coffee maker will stay on after it's done brewing its pot of coffee. So you can go from zero, it'll shut off as soon as it's done brewing, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, hour and a half, two hours, that's the max. So I'm, the default is two hours. I'm gonna leave it right on two hours. So just let it sit and it'll revert back to time. So I'm gonna show you how to program a brew for in the morning. So press the program button once and let up. This is gonna change the clock. This is what time, see how that's flashing? Now we're gonna set the time we want the brewer to start. Again, pay attention. It does not have an AM light, only a PM light. So I want this to start at five, 10 a.m. Okay. Now, if I just give it a minute, it reverts back to normal time, but I got to do one more step. I got to hit this auto button. So by hitting this auto button, that auto light came on. That tells me that this thing will start in the morning. It will do wherever I got my grinder. So let's take it off auto. So say I'm going to do 12 cups. I've got to have the 12 cups set. Say I want to do a strong brew, have it set, and then hit the auto button. Now my auto light is on. I'm going to do a bold brew at the 12 cup with the grinder. And if I hit the program button, it's going to be at 5, 10 a.m. in the morning. Let that revert back to time. It took it out of there, so I got to make sure when I go to bed, that little timer light is on right there. That's the one I got to see right there. And if I want to say I want to sleep in tomorrow, I want to cancel it, just hit that button one time and it cancels it. So I can turn the program on and off. There it's going to start in the morning, there it's not going to start in the morning. So I'm actually very impressed with this coffee maker. I'm not sure why, but at first I didn't think it was going to be that good of a coffee maker, but I did actually read the reviews. The reviews um, were pretty good about this coffee maker. Um, again, you'll get some one-star reviews. Sometimes when a coffee maker doesn't work, you know, right out of the box, 
usually appliances, if they, if they work, they usually continue to work. If they usually fail, they fail right away. But um, no, people generally like this coffee maker. And I do see that it's, you know, it's a Black & Decker coffee maker. So is it made with the highest quality components? No, I can sort of tell that, you know, it does feel just a little cheap to me. But um, boy, picking up a used one for 50, under 50 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. And it, even with it on sale, it's only $70. So for a grind and brew, that's a pretty good deal. So it doesn't have a fancy cleaning feature or a descale uh, feature. So, but I am going to do a video on how to descale it with vinegar. So I am going to give it just a dad sticker seal of approval. There's a good spot right over that defect. Um, I'm very impressed with this coffee maker. You know, it's not super expensive. I definitely wouldn't probably pay full price for it. I would definitely get it on sale or buy a used one. But it did make a very good cup tasting coffee. I'll put a link to it in my show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you do click on the link, I get a little bit of money from the click. The products don't cost you anymore, but it is a way of supporting my channel. I buy all my own products with my own money. Thanks everybody for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.